Alright, so after getting myself organized and ready to get out of here, I realized something. We don't have any wool. It's just gone. I have no clue when we lost it. So, luckily we're still here so we can just head back up and go grab another one, but I found that kind of interesting. We lost it and I didn't even realize it. So, I'm going to grab that and... Then we'll see about getting out of here. Alright, so honestly, I don't think we can face that big mass of mobs that's out there. There's probably like, there's got to be like 50 mobs or something outside my door. So I think what I, what we're going to do is, since we don't really need anything out there, we'll just dig around and out. Because that way also, we can keep this here as our base for now. And, uh, is it nighttime or daytime? Okay, it's nighttime. Well, we'll sleep anyways. But, anyways, so we'll keep this as our base for now, I guess. Because there is another dungeon around here. So let's just dig our way out and head over and see about that other dungeon. Or actually, you know what? Maybe we'll just set up camp there. Alright, so that's for the piston doors, I'm pretty sure. Which means that the way out should be right about here, somewhere. On second thought, I'm not quite sure where the way out is. What is this, then? Okay, maybe it's just a little bit further. Oh, there we are. Huh, so I literally just dug right under the exit. Wow. Oh, creepers on the button. Why is he not chasing me? Okay, now he's chasing me. I have no clue why I waited for him to chase me. Terrible idea. Ooh, seeds. Alright, I'm gonna grab those, and I'm gonna grab... these. Wow, that's a lot of cobble. And, you know what, let's just throw those in there. Okay, so... Make sure we don't fall in lava. And we'll head over to the other dungeon and see what it has in store for us. And you know, I think I'm going to, rather than digging around stuff a lot, unless it's like absolutely necessary, I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to maybe get into the action a bit more and like do more combat and all that. Alright, so there's likely a creeper spawner. Well, there's obviously a creeper spawner. Because I remember these creepers from last time we were here. So as long as we light it up, we should hopefully be good. Our leather armor is almost dead, of course. Alright, let's... Hey, that's not bad. We're actually still alive. Alright, so this, there's the dungeon entrance just over there. So it shouldn't be much of a hassle at all to uh, get to it. As long as we don't get shot into the lava. <clears throat> oh, and there's a side area there. We'll see where that leads to later. Oh boy. Uh let's do this for a moment. Actually no, we have no I shouldn't use a gold. I can't eat that either. Okay, yeah, let's let's wait a second. You know, I'm almost thinking about going back and getting iron armor. Because this armor is ridiculous. 
like just how little protection it protection it actually gives is absolutely ridiculous. Iron, on the other hand, is awesome, so I think that I might go get some of that if we continue to have troubles with this armor. Okay, here we are. Dungeon 10, or Flare. That's an interesting name. Oh, wow. That is a lot of redstone. Alright, let's take it. Oh, right, when mobs walk on it, it'll uh, light up. Almost forgot about that. Now, is there a door in here somewhere then, or? Now, I suppose that means then that as I walk around, I should light the area up. Well, that's not bad. Just need to make sure I don't uh, attract the attention of unwanted mobs. Like him, for example. Let's grab some of this redstone. Now, where are the spawners? there got to be spawners. I completely forgot about that. There's probably spawners everywhere on the floor. Carelessly running out and... Uh, here is probably not the best idea. There's got to be creeper spawners. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, stuff's up there. Bad things are up there. All right, let's let's put together a little house and. Get ourselves set up and safe. Okay, so I think I'm all ready. Let's see if we can sleep again. No, we can't. All right, so I got a little base of operations now. Now we can see just how I hear a slime. All right, let's see just how dangerous this area is. Hopefully it's not too bad, but we'll find out soon enough. Whew, I almost fell off of that. I probably shouldn't be pillaring my way up. I should probably build like a staircase so I can reuse it. Okay, so yeah, it's just like one massive cave made of redstone. And is that it? Just massive cave of redstone, find the wool? Because if that's it, that's not that difficult, really. So let's, uh... I am glad, though, that I... Oof, that I got all of this, uh... Clay, that's nice. It's nice to have. Just as a building material. Alright. We're probably going to get into spawner-heavy territory. All right, there's mossy. You know what? Sprint. Or not. Okay, yeah. There's going to be spawners. Tons of spawners here, probably. The likelihood of it is a lot. Like... deal with him. Alright, let's just run up in here. And see if we can get in here safely. Alright, well now nothing can hit us. No, this is not, this is not the wall. Cake! Oh, another golden apple. Wheat. Nice. Not bad, not bad. We won't take the stone tools. No real need for them. Alright, yeah, this seemed like it might not have been heavily protected enough to be the uh, wool. The wool is probably going to be, like, really 
heavily protected, I would imagine. Is that sandstone up there? Hmm. All right, well, let's just run around here a bit. Take care of all these guys and uh, see where we have to go. It might be over that way. Yeah, that might be something over there. I can't really tell from here. Skeleton spawner over here, looks like. Yep, don't hit him with torch. Alright. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so this goes down quite a ways. Wait, what? I can't... I... Wow. That is confusing. Alright, let's, uh... See if we can actually build down to that. Hopefully we can. There's definitely mobs spawning down there, though, so... We have to watch out for that. And I'd imagine the wool is probably somewhere down in here seems like it would be the place that it would be. I just barely can't reach. Now let's just build across until I can reach something. Can I actually mine this yet? Or Yeah, I think the uh, iron pick can mine redstone. Yeah, there we go. I haven't mined r redstone for a, quite a quite a long time. It's nice, though, that when we're walking around it, we can, like, light everything up. That is awesome. Alright, so that's the last of our clay. We do have cobble. Alright, so the question still remains of where exactly down here is the wall. If, he, if it's even down here. It might not even be down here. We might just be wasting blocks. That would be absolutely terrible. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh great. Oh, I just remembered too that since we pillared up exactly like I said we're going to have trouble getting back up again because we have all we have is wood and I don't really think I want to waste all my wood trying to get oh trying to climb up there's also tons of mobs outside you know I th I'm great <laughs> I think that well first let's see if we can sleep first and foremost yes we can You know, I think it might be worthwhile to just pack up and leave. Go get set up with iron gear and just get completely set up. And then come back and see what we can do. That stuff, our golden apples, all that, I'm just going to call them lost. Which is kind of sad that I had to call the golden apples lost, but uh, not much we can really do. All right, let's see if we can get out of here in one piece, though. <clears throat> That is now the challenge. Getting out of here in one piece. Well, I guess with sprinting it's not too difficult. Yeah, lots of mobs. Just keep running. Alright, so here we go. To the Victory Monument to place Light Grey Wool. Alright, let's get it on the bar. And of course, like always, put away the spare the backup. Alright, let's see. Light gray. There we go. Complete. Okay, so we're getting a lot of progress done. We really are. We have what? All of one, two, three, four, five, six, six items left for the Victory Monument and then we're done. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to get all set up.
like usual, and I will see you guys then. All right, so I've gotten myself all prepared again. I also grabbed some water that the uh, sugar canes were growing around so we can make a wheat farm at some point. And I think we're going to go in here and check out what this is. I'm thinking there might be like a chest or something like that back here. Yup. Exactly what I thought it was. And that's pretty nice. Especially the pork chop. Arrows. Alright, yeah, that's nice. Okay, so. Let's head back into Dungeon 10 and see what we can do about that wool. It seems like it's going to be harder than I thought it was. When we first went in there, there weren't many mobs in here, but... Well... Yeah, just seeing this completely goes with what I was just saying. <laughs> now it's a bit more, uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Because whenever the area gets dark, the creepers spawn. And then they light it up and they stop spawning, which isn't too bad. It's just when it gets dark like that. As long as we make sure that we're all right. All right, let's see if we can sleep, first and foremost. Oh, wait, I already slept in this bed. Well, I suppose sleeping in the bed a second time doesn't hurt. All right, chest our spare stuff, and then we'll head out. Okay, so I think we're pretty much ready. Grab a spare pick just in case. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do about getting up there and back to where we were. I wonder if our stuff actually despawned yet or not. Alright, let's... Main concern is the skeleton. Because he could easily knock us down, which would be very unpleasant. Really, I hear a skeleton somewhere. There you are. Take him out. And then I think I'm just gonna, like, do spiral staircase style around this pillar. And we'll see how that works out. This creeper seems to be following me. Look at that, he's following me up my staircase. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? There we go. Alright, I know there's a skeleton up here somewhere. Because he was shooting at me. Where did he go? No idea. Alright, keep going then. Oh! Why, hello there, Mr. Skeleton. It was below us, I see. Alright. And look at that, the zombie's also following us up the staircase. Oh no, I attracted the Enderman. All right. No worries, no worries. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So, now we get to see if we can get the wool. As long as we can stay alive, we should be fine. Oh, I so seen that one coming.
Alright, I heard a spider. He's probably down here somewhere. Yeah, that's a good question, though. If Is our stuff actually still down here? It might be, might not be. No idea. Probably not. I kind of doubt it. Who knows? Might be, though. Whoa. Jeez. Alright, well, he died. That's a good thing. So this is where I died before because I fell. Because it wouldn't let me place the block. And here I'm having the issue that I was not wanting to have. And that being not being able to place a block as a step. Um, hmm. Alright, well what if we like go over to somewhere else that we can go down one. Alright, this is not working out that well. Oh, and look at that. It's a good thing we jumped up. Alright, I think what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to dig down to it. If we can't build down, we can probably dig down, so we'll do that then. Or maybe not. Alright, let's see. If we go down at the side, we should be able to get down pretty easily. And, uh... I would, I, honestly, I think the wool is down here somewhere. Like, I know it's in this area, of course, because it is a dungeon, but I think it's in, like, this lower region that we're in right now, so... We'll see if I'm correct or not. Honestly, it should be, because this is, like, the only other place that there was. Oh, great. Oh, great. Am I alright? I'm alive? Wow. I'm actually still alive after that. Right, well, let's make sure that we have pathway. Oop, oop, careful, careful. Pathway back up. Oh, I just knew you were going to show up right there. Alright, once we have this pathway back up, then we can head in and see what we can find. It's rather dark in here, though, isn't it? In a way, that's probably a good thing, because there aren't that many mobs down here. Or, it means that there wouldn't be that many mobs down here, because they're not stepping on the redstone, creating light. Now, there is void fog down here. Which is a little bit of a pain because we can't see things until they're nearly on top of us. Ah, and there's a creeper spawner. I mean, there has to be a creeper spawner. Oh my goodness, there has to be a lot of spawners. There's something over that way. I've seen light. I don't know if we can... Oh my goodness. Okay, we might have to build. <laughs> I don't see another easy way to uh, get around. Oh, great. Okay, backing away. Let's back off. Okay, let's eat and... Hmm... It's going to be tricky. Mainly because we can't see that far in front of our face. Well, I mean, we can see a, a little ways, but we can't really see, like, really, really far or anything like usual. So that's going to be a downfall to us. Oh, oh. Nice shot, skeleton. Don't even know if I'm shooting at him or not. Oh, spider. Yeah, there's definitely lots of spawners over there. 
You can't. We can't even really run in and light because there's just so many mobs that we can't get over there in the first place. Eventually, I'm going to run out of arrows. Because I mean, I'm at. What am I at now? Yeah, I'm going to run out of arrows very, very soon. So I think. We might want to try and just start building over. Alright, Skeleton and him are in a fight. The Skeletons are going to be a bit of an issue because they'll knock us off of our platform. But, if we can avoid that... What is hitting me? Oh my goodness. Ah I knew that would I knew it. I seen it coming. Okay, this is tricky. This is harder than I thought it would be. Much harder than I thought it would be. I didn't think it would be anywhere near this hard. Now wait a second. Or, oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so we have a load of mobs outside our door. Terrible things. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what we can really do. Like, there's not... I'm not sure. There's not really much we can do. Because every time we go down there... I mean, we could just mine through the redstone. But that would be so boring. Like, just mining and mining and mining because of how long my redstone takes to break. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a plan and then we will uh we'll continue and see where we can get ourselves to.